All right, y'all, what it do, man? It's actually probably about two to three hours later. And as you can see, I am out and about, not at home, but man, we got the Chevelle right here. And I will say, I am loving it. Ooh, 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 wee. I'm telling you, man, this thing, it looks pretty damn good. I am happy with it so far. Um, even just the initial drive over seems to be driving fine. The initial setting and the stance on where it's at right now, man. <laughs> and the light is actually perfect right now. The sun is just going down. It's actually just a little bit behind the clouds. Couldn't ask for a better evening, man. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is what it's all about, y'all. This is what it's all about, man. Y'all ready to see this dang thing? <sighs> Man, I've been waiting for a certain type of rim for this vehicle, and this one sets it off. Now, it's a gloss face, and I was trying to stay away from that, but it is what it is. It actually, it actually, it looks good. It gives it a little bit of contrast. It's not like super glossy, uh, but it actually goes with the paint since the paint is gloss and then you know i have the matte finish on all the other uh, uh pieces of the car so man y'all <laughs> y'all ready for this man all right here we go one two <laughs> three let's get it Get in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Ooh, wee. I'm telling you, y'all. I am loving it. Loving it. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all, man. <laughs> this is exactly, exactly the look that I was going for, y'all. Man, get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think of this new stance, these new shoes. Man, it just changes it overall. Definitely my most favorite look out of out of all the rims that have been on here the first ones i really liked um i actually do really like those but kind of more of a truck style wheel that's why they went so good on the k5 uh and then the wheels that i got a buddy gave to me so it was kind of good timing because i was at least able to ride on something until i kind of figured out 
where I was going. You know, I didn't really know. I didn't have a, a plan on what wheel that I really liked. Um, people kept telling me, well, a few people kept telling me, man, if you had black in the wheels, I would set it off. And I forgot who it was. Uh, I don't know if it was somebody on YouTube or Instagram told me, man, you should put black in the centers, man. That will look dope. And you know what? I kind of, it kind of made me start thinking about it more and more and more. And I was like, you know what? He's right. So let me think about this. And then, you know, I had no plans on, on uh, getting any wheels. And then um, these actually popped up, found them local. And a guy had actually bought them for a Chevelle and ended up not using them uh, because he ended up uh, selling his Chevelle and, uh, and had, on, had these wheels. So the wheels actually sat for quite some time and nobody was really biting on them. And so I jumped on them. Luckily, we were able to make a deal, and then here we go. So, man, I am super excited about that, man. You know, the car gods definitely work in, in mysterious ways, and a lot of times in your favor if you're just patient. So, these are the wheels right here. Uh, they're Savini Forged. I think I think the, the style model number is S, like Sam, V, like Victor, 10, the number 10, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's what he told me. Uh, tires are new everything's new they actually he actually when he got them um actually had them reserviced so they've all been taken apart they are a three-piece wheel so they've been taken apart re uh, sealed and everything all new bolts everything's good new center caps he actually has some other center caps too it says if he finds them he'll let me know and then give them to me but uh they are staggered so i think they are 20 by eight and a half in the front and then 20 by 10 and a half in the rear uh, they kind of look bigger in the in the rear end. Look at that lip, y'all. Look at that lip. Look at that lip. Look at that lip. Ooh wee. So that is just under a six inch lip. And I still have room. Let me crawl under here. And I still have plenty of room in the back. I mean, look at this. I mean, I can stick. That's two fingers. Three fingers almost dang near four fingers back there so that's the difference y'all when you're getting a wheel that's specifically made for your car uh then if it's perfect if it's perfect so i have about oh man i have about two finger clearance oh about a finger and a half with clearance from the tire to the uh to the uh fender so yeah man i am digging this get in the comments y'all let me know what you guys think Ooh wee so i went ahead and changed my coil over spring oh hold up y'all let me stop this camera i gotta get a video of this right here real quick of the sun shining on this all right y'all so i had to get a couple shots of that man man when that sun shines on this paint, man, I actually, it kind of looks like it has a little bit of a gold pearl in it to me, to me, but it doesn't. It's just a champagne color, champagne. And that champagne is popping, popping bottles out here, y'all, popping bottles. Man, but anyways, um, I went ahead and changed the rear coilover spring to a 150 instead of a 220, so that way it's not, it's not, I guess, as stiff. Um, what I found out is the actual spring does not determine the stiffness of the ride so i guess the dampening of the uh the knobs the valving is actually what stiffens the uh the shock the coil the spring itself is actually solely to raise and lower the car so i found that interesting so I went ahead and changed the 220 anyway because I had the 220 on here with the 24s and it was actually rubbing the back of the fender lip back here a little bit if I hit a hard bump. Uh, but with the with those coils, even though they, they don't really say that it, it helps with the stiffening of the, of the ride, but it does actually help with, um, you know, hitting bumps and things like that because, you know, if... If you do hit a bump and the spring and coil is a little bit more stiff, then it makes it a little bit harder for that coil to kind of compress. So uh, that's the main reason why I did it. And the reason why I changed it is because these 150s will give me a little bit more adjustability. So when I'm adjusting a coil and the ride height, um, 
I'm not fighting putting so much tension on the coil if I want to raise or lower it. It kind of makes it a little bit more challenging to spin those jam nuts and the, uh, the little spanner nuts, I think that's what they're called, uh, to raise or lower the car back down. So don't have to apply that much pressure against the, uh, the coil. So anyways, y'all, let me know. Get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I am digging these, y'all. It just sets it off. It sets it off. And what I mean, you see they're not, they're not super super glossy they're kind of they're kind of just right and it actually gives it a little bit nice contrast against the matte black and the gloss actually flows with the paint so i'm digging it it is what it is i mean i could take them apart and then do it matte but but why you know why i mean it, it i think it looks it looks pretty good but you know let me know you guys get in the comments let me know what you guys think about this i'm really really digging this y'all man 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 Ooh, let me give you a full full rock around. Lots in store for this vehicle, you guys. I actually got a lot of work to do on this car. Unfortunately, I might have to take out the engine. <laughs> oh man, long story, but the uh, oil pan is leaking. And so, I don't know, I'm gonna try to do it and unloosen it and see if I can kind of determine where it's coming from. It's just seeping in the back, kind of more towards the flywheel. And I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, Actually, I just got to get under there and investigate. Hopefully, hopefully it's coming from somewhere else. I know there's some uh, there's some bolts on the side of the block that are just above the uh, just above the uh, oil pan. I think those are the the uh, bolts that actually hold the uh, the mains in. You're supposed to put RTV on the base of those bolts, and I know that I did that, but maybe one of them is leaking, or maybe one of the bolts is loose. I'm not sure. So I'm hoping it's an easy fix, and I don't have to pull the engine. Uh, but I really, <laughs> really don't want to do that for just an oil pan. But anyways, could be far worse, I guess. So, but yeah, y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, you guys. I gotta go home, spend time with my family. The wife was uh, gracious enough to give me several hours of uh, freedom <laughs> out here to work on the car. So I gotta take the car back and then I got a little bit of cleanup to do in the garage before I uh, put this thing back in. So yeah, y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think here. Mr. Griffin 23, you guys always know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff, y'all. I'm out of here. Mr. Griffin 23, deuces. Peace out.